Welcome to Finance with Avery. In this video, I want to go over what it means when the Apple Card changes colors in the wallet app and what those colors signify. Now, physically, the Apple Card is, as you see on the top of the screen right there, it is that titanium white with the laser etching. I did an unboxing of it on my channel. I'll leave a link down in the description if you want to see how it looks up close physically. Now, when I activated my Apple Card and everything in the wallet app, it looked like that on the screen, just like the physical card, that titanium white with the laser etching. So that's how it looked in the wallet app. Okay, that was fine. And then I started using the car and I became a bit perplexed because it started changing colors and looking like this and this and that. There were all kind of gradients going on and I was just like, is this a heat map? What is happening? I wasn't really digging deep into the wallet app itself. So I wasn't looking at, you know, about where I was spending, you know, if it had color codes, you know, if it's like green because I was spending a lot of money at Starbucks or, you know, red because I was going to Target too much, something like that, you know, because it was a gradient. So it wasn't really anything like certainly for sure. Like, okay, yeah, this is the same color as this store, you know, because a lot of brands, you know, have their certain colors that belong to them, you know, like that green for Starbucks, the red for CVS and Target and the blue for Lowe's and the orange for Home Depot and so on and so on. So I figured, you know, maybe, you know, something like that. I didn't really think of it as a big deal or anything. So I just kind of wrote it off. And then I started looking at the wallet app a little bit closer and noticed that the colors of the Apple car, the gradients and everything are related to categories. I'm not gonna drag this video out and tell you one category by one category. I'm gonna show them to you all on the screen right now. Yes, so these are the categories that Apple has for their Apple car in relation to a color. I'm gonna briefly go over them and then I'm gonna show you into details how they look in the wallet app and how it's organized. So you have food and drinks. That category is going to be orange and it's what you expect for food and drinks. You know, restaurants or quick service, fast food places like, you know, Chipotle or McDonald's and Starbucks and places like that. Food and drinks is going to be orange. Now, health, that's going to be red. You know, it's your hospital visits. That's your pharmacies. That's places like that. And also like Walgreens, you know, CVS. And sometimes it gets a little crossover because you could go to those stores and be buying something that's not necessarily health related, but it's going to show up red because of where that purchase was made. So some things in the Apple cart category is kind of a little iffy questionable. And I'm going to show you that as well later in the video, what I mean about that with something that happens with food and drinks. So yeah. Then next you have shopping. That's going to be yellow and that's what you expect for shopping. You know, retail places, the Targets, the H&Ms, the whatever kind of retail places you would shop at. So that's going to be yellow for shopping and retail, just buying of goods. That's going to be yellow. And then you have services. That's going to be purple. That's, you know, service based retail. Basically, you're not really buying necessarily a good, but you're buying a service, whether it be like a spa visit or a sauna visit or a bouncy playhouse or something like that. Like that so that's going to be purple for services and then you have travel that's going to be green travels what you expect from travel it's going to be hotel stays flights things related to travel that's going to be green and then you have entertainment that's going to be pink it's going to the movies and that's also subscriptions that's what i see on mine basically because i use my car i don't use the apple card much i did use the apple card a lot during the first couple of months i had it just because i was curious about it and i wanted to use it and get some certain cash back on places and stuff like that but now i mostly use it for services that i have linked through apple like peacock where i watch you know mostly english premier league soccer you know epl and also disney plus i have that on my apple card and those purchases are pink because they're related to entertainment entertainment so for entertainment that's going to be pink and then you have transportation that's going to be blue transportation is what you expect from that that's you know your bus fare or gas purchases but that's kind of questionable right there because i want to talk about that how sometimes the transportation can get linked in with food and drink so i'll show you that but yeah transportation is going to be blue for that category and so your spending is going to be broken down into one of these seven categories. And that's going to explain why the Apple card in your wallet app looks the way it does with the gradient. Even if your spending is all one category, it's still going to be kind of like a gradient, like a soft gradient. All the colors are kind of soft gradient colors, you know, like those backgrounds on the PCs back in the day, you know, those gradient colors and everything. So if you see your Apple cart and it's mostly orange with a little hint of pink or green or something, you go, wow, okay, I spent most of my money recently on food and drinks. And then if you see it mostly, you know, green and just a little bit of red or something like that and a little bit of purple, you go, okay, I've mostly been spending my money recently on travel with some health and some services mixed in there on my Apple cart. 
And so when you pay off your Apple Card and there are no transactions left on it, your balance is zero, the Apple Card color in your wallet app is going to go back to that white titanium look right there. Just basic, plain, back to the white titanium look. That's when your balance is zero and you have no transactions under it. So let's say you pay your statement balance on your Apple Card. However, it still has a balance for transactions in the past, you know, a couple of weeks. Well, then your Apple Card gradient color is going to be whatever those categories are recently with those transactions. So your Apple Card color will change after you make that payment because all those other transactions will kind of drop off from the Apple Card spending. And then it's going to update to be whatever those more recent transactions are that haven't been paid off yet. So even after you pay off your Apple Card, the balance, you'll still still have a color going on with your car if your balance is not zero and you have other purchases on there. So that's it. As you see it on the screen, all seven categories with the Apple Car and the colors that are associated with them. So with your Apple Car in the wallet app, you will have an idea before you even click on it to look further into detail where the majority of your spending has been with the categories that Apple Car uses. Now, if you want to get into more detail with where those purchases were at or the specific, you know, the dates, the months that were more heavy on this kind of category, the years, anything like that, you can do that within a wallet app too. Let me show you more details of how the categories look in the wallet app for the Apple Card. All right, so here is the Apple Card colors categories by year. So you can just break this down in the wallet app by year, 2023, 2024, and so on and so on. So I have 2023, as you see right there. I just started using the Apple Card in September of 2023. And then you see a big takeoff right there in October, kind of going down after that, I stopped using it as much. But you can kind of just look at that chart right there for that year and say, okay, in September and October, there's a lot of travel going on and food and drinks and it just drops down but this is a good way you can kind of see and kind of get an idea of your spending you know if you see a certain color you know in the majority you go wow i've been really eating out a lot maybe i need to cut back on that or oh i've been shopping too much look at all that yellow or things like that so and then sometimes you kind of know like oh yeah that was that month i went overseas or did that trip or something like that see that's where all that green or so yeah it's kind of a way that you can kind of just look at your graphs and charts on the wallet app and get an idea of where your spending has been concentrated at without even digging into details about specifically. However, you can dig into details specifically in the wallet app and see where you spent that money. So as you see on the middle screen of the video, you can have the categories. You just scroll down right there. That's the same screen as the left with the year. You just scroll down a little bit. And you can see the categories all placed out with the total amounts for that year because I'm still under the year for the time frame. So as you see, all the categories, pretty much that year right there i had it yeah spent in all seven categories but you see where the majority was and you kind of look at the chart and tell like yeah that matches up a lot of green and then orange and then some pink and purple and so on so that's it right there and then you can switch that however to merchants you see categories the title on the left side on the right side of it it says show merchants so that switches between show merchants and show categories so you can just tap that and it shows the actual merchants listed where you spent that money at in the totals for that year. And then as you see on that last screenshot, 2024, I just spent about $46.77 in January, but you can kind of tell right there, just looking at that, okay, January, that was mostly food and drinks and entertainment, orange and pink. So that is how it looks in the wallet app by year. Now by month, it even breaks down further because you know, if you break down by month, you're going to see a little bit more details for the weeks and everything about where you spent your money. So as you see, I got it listed right here. I used October 2023 because that was the month I used this card the most at so you can get an idea of how this looks because it gets really bare minimum when you start going on for this year and in 2024 for me because I don't use this card a lot. Basically, I use cards based on the cash back and the features I get from them. So yeah, the Apple card is used at certain places that I get more cash back from and other cards are used at other places that, and so on and so on. So I'm trying to maximize maximize my spending i don't do a lot of spending but i try to maximize my spending where i do spending so yeah so october 2023 so you see the breakdown of how it did on the month of october 2023 it separated the first of october from the other weeks because of the spending that was on the first of october it was so much they didn't want to put it in with the other week so you have the first of october and then you have october 2nd through the 8th and you have the 9th through the 15th 16th through the 22nd, 23rd through the 26th, and then the 30th through the 31st. It's not necessarily by week. There's a couple days in some of those graphs right there. One day in one of those graphs, two days in one of those graphs. You know, so by month, it's not separating specifically by a certain amount of days for each, you know, bar chart right there. It's just going by the spending kind of. So you see how it kind of elevated 
right there with the travel and then food and drinks came in more and then the entertainment and then it kind of drops off and it's just kind of food and drinks and entertainment. So another way to break down the categories and see where your spending is concentrated, see where it's elevated, see where it dropped off at is by looking at the month to month basis of your spending with the Apple card. And then if you scroll down, it has the same section as by year. You can go back and forth between show merchants and show categories. So you'll see the total for that month of where you spent your money per category. And then you can see specifically the merchants who where you spent your money at for that month and totals. And you can click on either one of these, like for example, the categories, if you click on those, then you're going to see the specific transactions. Same thing with the merchants. You'll see the merchants total. Then if you click on those, you'll see the specific transactions. Like on the food and drinks, having 40 transactions, you see the total, click on that. You're going to see all 40 transactions. You're just going to scroll through those and you can see specifically more details on those transactions. And then you also can break it down further in more somewhat detail when you check out the Apple card spending by week so i have the by week right there and they're going to have the days all the same listed out right there monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday no matter if you spent on those days or not as you see it right there i have october 30th through november 5th where there's a good amount of spending and you can just look at that and tell okay there was a lot of food and drink spending during that week a day where there's health and a day where there's entertainment and then you can see on the weeks that i didn't use the card at all there's just zero spending there was a payment made on that one week between November 13th and 19th. So it shows that. And then on the December 11th through the 17th, no spending, no payments, no transactions, just bare, just showing the balance at the bottom right there and the option to pay it. So you see how it's breaking down right there by week, a little bit more broken down and specific on the chart because it's going by week. So it's going by day of the week right there at the bottom of the screen. Same thing with that. You can switch between showing the merchants where you use the Apple card and the categories. And then specifically, as I was saying earlier in the video, you can click on the actual merchant transaction and see a little bit more details with that. Like, for example, where that transaction was at. So you see the Bucky's right there that was in Daytona Beach. See the date and you see the amount, the percentage of cash back I got from that. For some merchants, they have like a banner image that you'll see that's kind of like a standard banner image for that place. You see the Bucky's, they got a picture of that. However, for the icon, they just have the gas, you know, logo right there. So that's for transportation. And then you see on the Apple purchase, they have an actual logo for the merchant, Apple, of course. And then they have the banner image, you know, the apps right there. And you see the category entertainment and the actual transaction as the peacock streaming service and so you see right there the day of this the day of the transaction the amount of it the percentage of cash back and also the actual amount of cash back that i'm going to receive from that purchase and then you see the transaction here three and those are the those are other entertainment spendings that have happened previously with my apple card so on the 27th 1203 112 875 so you can see a list of transaction history for the entertainment category and then next right here you see transactions at starbucks so it has a starbucks logo however it doesn't have a banner image so it just uses that green that kind of a play on the starbucks app for the banner image a green and that's a little bit confusing maybe because the food and drinks category remember is orange however for this starbucks purchase it doesn't have a banner image and it doesn't want to make the banner image color orange it wants to go along with the app you know the color of starbucks their theme whatever that green so it has green for it which will make you think you know first seeing it is it travel related no it's not travel related with the starbucks purchases they're food and drink that's the category that these purchases are in however it's just making the banner color green to go along with the starbucks logo so yeah you see the transactions right here this is under the year time frame so it shows a whole year of transactions that were made with my apple card at starbucks so you can see the breakdown of that you see the total from january 1st to december 31st 116 dollars and 30 cents see the cash back you see the total daily cash back from it and those are all the transactions right there you can scroll through that click on them to see a little bit more info and so on and so on and then the last screenshot on here is what I was kind of talking about in the main category section where I was saying sometimes things get a little iffy, a little, you know, misplaced when it comes to the categories. And so this is a purchase at Mapco Express. And this was a gas purchase. This was buying, this was buying gas for a vehicle, which you would think would be in the transportation section, like how it happened with Bucky's, because that Bucky's purchase was for gasoline. It wasn't the in-store purchase. It was for gasoline. That Mapco purchase right there on the last screenshot was for gasoline as well. However, the Apple Card placed this purchase in food and drinks instead of transportation. So, and that can add up as well because as you see, I'll show you, go back here. 
on this screen right here, Joe's Quick Marts. That purchase right there, that second screenshot at Joe's Quick Marts for $51.66. That wasn't a food and drinks purchase. That was a purchase for gasoline. However, it was linked to the food and drinks category as well. So yes, as you see right there, that purchase orange linked to food and drink category and this Mapco Express purchase for gasoline linked to food and drinks category. So you can see the balances. You can see how this could be an issue. You can see that all that orange on the bar chart or the graph and everything and think like, oh, I'm spending way too much on food and drinks in that month and that month and that month. However, if you get gas at a location that the Apple cart deems as food and drinks, then that's going to be tied in with that bar chart of that orange with the food and drinks. So it make you think that you're just spending a ton of money on food and drinks where really half of that or 25% of that or however much of that was actually gasoline transportation based purchases. So that's something I wanted to notate because I saw that and I thought that was a little odd. It has probably something that will be getting fixed maybe eventually once they, you know, find out, you know, more specifically like, okay, this car was actually used at a gas pump that was gasoline. This car was actually used inside the store. That's going to be food and drinks, even though I guess you can go in the store and say i want you know 20 30 dollars on pump eight or whatever it is and do it that way so that would kind of confuse the system maybe as well but it would get further more you know specific clarification on the purchase if they could break it down by at least using it at the gas pump because with these purchases like right this one at mapco and the other one at the quickie mart place and the other one at the quick mark place those transactions i use the apple car at the physical gas pump outside however the Apple Cart thought those were for food and drink purchases. So something I just wanted to notate here on this video about the Apple Cart colors. And also with that purchase, you can see I got it blacked out for just privacy purposes. It shows a specific location where that cart was used at Mapco. So it has that for some merchants as well. So those are more details that can be viewed. All right. So yes, that is it for my video on the Apple Cart colors explained. Hope you all found it helpful. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.